OCV has been like a really good experience. Uh, we've been putting in a lot of hours and constantly moving, constantly things, things are constantly changing and you never know what's going to happen next. So we're just going with the flow and we are constantly adapting to the changes out here that they're throwing at us. In this scenario here at OCV 24.2, we came in to partner up with a partner force in a competition scenario where we are training them to go through a typical combat training center environment. In short order, there was a conflict along the southern border and we needed to conduct a fly to assess to see what is going on the border, assess that partner force's ability to defend uh, where they're at and what other capabilities they might have. We got to integrate with the Air Force advisors, bring them into our plan, and th their job was to conduct an airfield assessment while we were down there. We had the opportunity to bring them in and work with them on planning the mission and executing the mission. And then what it allowed, it allowed us to practice our ability for interoperability with the Air Force as well as the partner force. When we were down there and began to assess, the enemy force started across the border. So we switched from assessing to liaising and trying to, we were trying to understand what, the, what was going on on the ground at that time with the enemy force. The, uh, the fly to assess was awesome. It gave us the experience of partnering with the Air Force, which I had never done before. I, never, I didn't even know that they had advisors. It's also another tool for us because if we're planning something with the partner force or assisting the partner force in planning something, um, it's good to, it, it opens our eyes to a, a realm of possibilities for things on the logistical side of the house. Being a cab scout, I tend to only think about the maneuver side and sometimes forget about the logistics side. Um, so that was pretty cool to see.